Hey, what's up everybody? Joshua Casper back at you with another video tutorial. And today I'm just gonna share with you something like 30 shortcuts inside of Ableton Live 10 when working inside of Arrangement View. Most of these are crossovers, like you can go and use them in the Session View, but uh, for the most part, it's Arrangement View because that's where I spend most of my time, if I'm honest. So let's just go ahead and jump into it. I'm gonna kind of start with the basics, so don't get too frustrated if I'm not sharing anything new with you right in the beginning, but this is kind of aimed at beginners to begin with. So uh, just relax, and I'm sure there's gonna be something in here you might not know about. First one is Spacebar. Spacebar starts and stops the track. Just in case you didn't know, I hope you know that stuff by now. Uh, a few more you should know is like Control C will copy. Uh, you can copy clips, you can copy uh, devices down here, and Control V will be the paste. So Control C to copy, Control V to paste. Uh, Control X to cut, so that's gone, and Control V to undo. So these are like, the same thing for almost all programs. You know, Microsoft Words has the same type of thing there. Control D will duplicate, or you can hold Control, click and drag will also duplicate. Uh, that's another way to do it. We got a lot of limiters here. Shift clicking will highlight them all. So right here, shift clicking is gonna highlight everything in between the first one I clicked and the last one I click. Control clicking doesn't work inside of Ableton Live, unfortunately. I don't even know if there's a way to do it. Uh, no, see, no matter what, you can't select just uh, selective things. That's something that most other programs do have, but it doesn't have inside of Ableton Live. Another one is rename. So select something, control R to rename it, then rename it like drums. And a cool thing is if you hit tab while you're still in the rename mode, you'll just drop down to the next one. So I can do piano, drop down to the next one and do piano melody. You know what I mean? And just keep doing like that. It's just a quick workflow tip using that tab when you're inside of rename mode. Another cool thing too is uh, automation. So right now I can use my phase, but I don't see my automation lines. Just hit A and you'll be able to see your automation lines. And when you're working inside of here, you know you can point, click and drag. Uh, if you hit B, you'll get your pencil tool to make more rigid things. And another tip while you're doing this is control one will narrow the bands inside of there and control two will make them wider. Uh, that's another very helpful thing. Control three will turn on triplet mode and control four will actually turn off fixed grids. So you can see here, I'm kind of free drawing. It's gonna be a ton of points when I go back in. Uh, control five is gonna be a fixed grid. And then if you hit control five again, it'll be adaptive grid. And by the way, if you right click, you can choose the size of the adaptive grid. I like to keep it on medium for the most part. Uh, I'm not gonna go into too much more on shortcuts and working with automation lines. Maybe there'll be a second video somewhere, but I've already done one a long time ago. I missed some things in that one, but if you're looking for a starter course, I'd definitely go check that out. So control, uh, just hitting S will collapse everything to get a kind of good view. If you've got a big project you're working on and you wanna kind of zoom out, uh, that's a good way to do it. Another thing about zooming, if I click B again, get back in here, if I hit Z right now, it's gonna zoom in on whatever time selection I've selected here. So if I select just this, hit Z, I'm gonna zoom right in on that. That's very helpful. Uh, another thing too is if you hit M, you'll get your MIDI keyboard over here. This is very helpful for me. So for me, probably the most used I have is M to get the MIDI keyboard for my laptop and A to switch between automation and uh, non-automation view over here so I can get my fades and things. Another one, if uh, working with clips, if you just select something and hit R, it's gonna give you the reverse. If you select something and hit Control E, it will uh, section it off or split it you know, whatever you want, boom, split, cool. Uh, let's talk about inserting tracks. Control T will insert an audio track. Control Shift T will insert a MIDI track. When you have something selected inside of your MIDI track, Control Shift M will add a MIDI clip. That's very helpful as well. I use those all the time, obviously, the uh, Control T, Control Shift T, and Control M to add those MIDI clips. That's very useful stuff. Control Alt T will give you your return track. That's another very useful one. Uh, using your plus and minus keys will zoom in and zoom out. And another one of my favorites is Control F. And this is the same as in Google Chrome. So like, it's just very, very helpful. It's gonna search through everything for you. If you're looking for something specific, Control F will put you up here. You don't gotta worry about moving your mouse and clicking and stuff. And just all of these things add up. And that's why shortcuts are so awesome. Like if you just start using these all the time, it's gonna be a little bit 
crappy at first because you're going to have to like sit down and remember or maybe check a list. But once you get them in your head, it's going to save you a ton of time and you can focus on creativity and making your project rather than, you know, oh, I want to search. Boom, control left. You're in the search bar. Hit whatever you want on your keyboard. You're searching, you're filtering, you're doing what you need to do quickly and easily. Uh, just a couple more here. F11 will put full screen mode. It's just in case you don't want to see this white bar at the top. I don't know why you'd want to do that. You know why it might be important, but there it is if you need it. And the last one is grouping. So if I control G, we'll group that. We can group it again if we want. And that's the same way with devices. So I've got two devices here. If I control G those, that will group it as well. You can see here I can group inside of groups and stuff like that. So uh, that's pretty much it. If you right click, you can usually see some of the groups. You can see here we've got our, you know, cut, copy, duplicate, paste, rename. You can see all of the shortcuts. And anytime you go to a menu, if it's got a shortcut, you can see it. Uh, edit MIDI map, you know, edit key map. Uh, just stuff like this is very important. So if you, you know, check your preferences a lot because you got two sound cards and you want to switch between them, you know, knowing this, control plus uh, comma there is going to help you do shit quicker. So I just wanted to share a bunch of those with you. I hope you've learned something and I hope it's useful for you in the future. Anyway, I'm Joshua Casper and I'll see you in the next video.